Jim. Be with you in a minute, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me five minutes. It's okay, honey. The club said they'd hold the table. They took pity when I told them you'd be eating raw meat from the ground for the next week. You take such good care of me. Of course I do. You're the great hunter. My very life depends on your skill. I'll tend your fire. All right, make fun. Go ahead. A freezer full of venison will change your mind. As if this trip had anything to do with putting food on the table. This is just an orgy of male bonding, and you know it. Well, what can I say? Men bond. Women network. Jim, I don't feel good about this trip. Why? Honey, I don't understand. All the years I've gone deer hunting, you never said that. Besides, Brad will be there. And Paul's nephew. That's the point. All the other years, Paul was with you. Yeah. Day doesn't go by that I don't think about him. was a time of year he loved the best. Look, I'm going to be all right. I promise. Okay. What can I say? Wives worry. All right, that's good. Leave it right there, Roger. I thought this was for High Plains Cologne, not the Beef Council. They're there to make you look good, right? I mean, by comparison, right? <laughs> you said it, I didn't. That's enough, girl. Don't make a meal of it. Let's shoot one. There we go. Okay. Hey, Ray, take it in your other hand. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah, excellent. Come on, smile. You love this stuff. There <laughs> you go. Excellent. never colder in all my life than sitting on that ledge for six hours waiting. It wasn't that cold. Oh, sure. You and Paul are out stomping through the bushes, keeping warm. We drove that buck right up your front door, though, didn't we? Could have taken it with a water balloon. You got to know the ground rules, Ray. See, any shot that Brad takes is highly difficult, <laughs> requiring great skill. Any shot that you and I get off is just a stroke of dumb luck. It only happened because he set us up. That sounds about right. Yeah, right. Here we go, girls. It's the soft world goodbye. Hey, this isn't the turn off. I'm trying a new way. Whoa, take it easy, man. <laughs> There's no way to take this road easy. You think Brad's bad? You should have ridden with your uncle. <laughs> Paul was a wild man on these back roads. He bruised my kidneys off enough, I tell you that. Hey, I sure miss old Scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Scratch, why'd you call him that? <laughs> One of the things Paul liked best about coming to the wilderness was the freedom it gives a man to scratch. <laughs> Long and hard, really dig in there like they don't let you do in the city. Yeah.
so you just put the little red dot on the target and shoot it, huh? There's a little more to it than that. Hey, you want to put that thing down before you shoot one of us in the back? More likely to shoot myself in the foot. That's a fine-looking weapon, Brad. These new radios, all the equipment. <laughs> yeah. You must have spent a fortune. I had a good year. I'll tell you something else, too. I think it's about time we drag this party into the 21st century. Hey, maybe next year we can all chip in, buy a new boonie mobile with all the options? Yeah, maybe. It's good to be in the old war horse one more time, though, isn't it? It was very understanding of your uncle's estate when we asked to borrow it. The family appreciated the eulogy. And you know how you try to save them and everything. He's my best friend. Hey, now, the law says if you bring one down, you gotta gut it right there and pack out all the meat yourself. Well, how much does it weigh? Well, I don't know what, a couple hundred pounds. Oh, easy. Boy, 200 pounds? Nobody can carry that much. <laughs> hey, I can still bench 340, or at least I could until this year. I had some guy come over when I was in the gym bench. Didn't ask him I didn't ask him, him to spot me, and he, he picked, picked up one, one side end of the weight, weight through and all the weight over it here, went over to the other thing toward the, the rotator. Cup. You had to ask. I'll tell you what, even <laughs> so, I can still drag out a couple hundred pounds of meat if I bring it down. <laughs> hey, look, what's that? Pueblo Ruin. I've forgotten the name. How old are they? Hard to say. They built layers on top of layers. A lot of it's underground. Beautiful. Can we stop? I love rooms. Hey, we're here to hunt deer, kid, not baskets. And if you want to stand a chance in hell of bringing one of them down, you better get with the program. Yeah, that's where I spend most of my time promoting the line. It's been a great break for me. High Plains Fashions? I never heard of it. Oh, yeah, it's a big new label. Cologne, boots, even bed sheets. I've been a National High Plains man for about a year now. Just about the best gig a model can get. And they put clothes on my back, boots on my feet, they even cap my teeth. Doesn't own a thing, but he looks good in it. I think it's time for me to water some pinion pines. for asking, but what's this damn problem? Well, Brad was always number two on these trips. Me, I, I don't care about things like who's in charge, who holds the records. It's always been very important to Brad. If you don't like the guy any better than that, why even with him? Well, we were in school together. Brad and I, and Paul. I don't know. I, I guess sometimes you hang on to people you maybe don't even like just because of the years. You know, I know you're my uncle's friends, and uh, you're older than me. But I'd like to get this straight now. He's not my platoon leader, and you're not my dad. OK? OK. Great. Someone else already at the campsite.
Hello. Howdy. Best natural campsite around, huh? I reckon. Hey, Brad, the old lean-to's still here. Yeah. You know, I think I know you. We met about four or five years ago up on Yellow Ridge. You're a professional hunter, isn't that right? Right. Stan Brown's the name. Yeah. I'm Brad Mueller. That's Ray Bettencamp. This is Dr. Jim Cole. How do you do? You had another fella with you last time, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that was Ray's Uncle Paul. He was killed six months ago. What happened? A storm knocked over a utility pole. He got tangled up in a high-voltage cable. You were there? Yes. I'm sure sorry to hear that. So the kid's taking his uncle's place. That's right good. How's the hunting this year? Right good? There ain't no hunting this year. You could have saved yourself the trip up here if you'd stopped along the way and taken a look. Looked at what? I ain't seen a game animal in a week. They've been spooked out of this part of the world, that's a fact. What do you mean, spooked? I wish I knew. We'll find something. Like this. Um, don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, maybe see my picture. Do you read uh, Gentleman's Quarterly? Or Sunset. Or how about American West? Yeah, I seen that one downtown. Yeah, I'm in most issues. Yeah, High Plains. You know, for men, fashions, clothes. Well, I'm the National High Plains man. This was uh, one of your uncle's favorite places. He used to lay up here for hours, not saying a thing, just watching the stars. I guess that's why he chose it. I guess I used up all my words at the memorial service. It's just us up here now. So, uh, live free, buddy. We'll never forget. Say anything. My father took me out to the dry lake bed. See the stars. Put the bow. 
about the star on the horizon. They bought me a telescope. Like a map, never get lost. Mighty pleasant to see a friendly face up here. It gets kind of lonely. Yeah, where, where's your home base? Nah, I don't have one. I, say. I live here in the mountains. Is that right? My animals. Where in the hell are my animals? Well, they were right here. Damn it all. How'd they get loose? Well, they won't get far. Tomorrow we'll help you round them up. Oh, uh, thank you. There ain't no hunting this year. I ain't seen a game animal in a week. They've been spooked out of this part of the world, that's a fact. I don't feel good about this trip, Jim. Day doesn't go by that I don't think about him. <laughs> well, I can still pack out a couple hundred pounds of meat if I bring it down. <laughs> Paul. I appreciate you helping out. It's all right. It's tough to track him through this stuff, though. Well, for me, maybe. But not for my old man. He could track where an animal planned to go. He must have seen this country when it was something unbelievable. Well, he sure did. And the stories he would tell me and my brothers. And the stories he would tell my mother. He could also track a pretty woman through half a dozen hockey tongues in any kind of weather. In and out of season. If you know what I mean. <laughs> You're the happily married type, ain't you? Guilty. Well, nothing wrong with that, nothing. I'd be the last man to talk against family, seeing as how we're out here looking for all the family I got. How you doing? Okay. Okay. Huh? Great morning, isn't it? Yeah, I just love it up here. Uh, camping? That's right. Uh -huh. Just trying to find a little peace and quiet. I'm Brad Mueller. This is Ray Bedenkamp. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. We're, we're just camped over the ridge here, deer season, you know. You're hunters? Mm -mm. I'm the hunter. He's just learning. <laughs> Well, we haven't seen much wildlife at all on the side of the mountain. And I can assure you that there's no wildlife to be found in the middle of our camp. Uh, you know, we had some horses get away from us last night. Did uh, either one of you ladies happen to see them? Well, we did hear something big moving around last night. I bet you that was it. Did give us just a little fright. A little fright? It scared us half to death. Well, maybe you'd feel safer if you camped with us. You know, just until we found them. I tell you what. If we see him, we'll catch him for you. Well, there's plenty of room. No, thank you. Well, okay. You know where we are if you need anything or you just get lonely? We came up here to get lonely. Frigid. Hey, Frigid, she's just tired of getting hit on. I see a lot in the city. Oh, yeah, you know so much about it. Well, I just saw I'd say I know a lot more than you. Oh, yeah. You were such a big help back there. Famous movie star, famous macho hunk. You can hardly open your mouth. 
That's how it's done, Brad. You, you take it slow, you ease them into it. You know, you give them a chance to check you out. Ah, you, you march into camp and you rip your pecs and you announce you're here to save them from the big bad wolf. We haven't ever gone for that act since 1964. A great year. You know, I wasn't even born. Yeah, even better. You scare up anything? Any game? Not a thing. And I mean nothing. You're right about the game up here. I don't even hear any birds. Well, they, they come and go. What's causing it? Drought? Some kind of predator? It ain't that dry. What did you say? What? I thought you said something. No. Are you? What the hell are you doing in our camp? You'll see. Come on. Come on. Just come on. Great. <laughs> so you didn't see any tracks at all, huh? None we could follow. And Stan's a professional tracker. <laughs> Some professional, he can't even keep his horses tied up. Yeah, I could say the same thing about your britches. What does that mean? Drooling over them hippie girls when you were supposed to be covering the West Face. Where are you going? To get some peace and quiet. Good hell. When I want to listen to old women nag each other, I go visit my great aunt in the nursing home. Great.
Yeah? Want some company? Absolutely. Come here, sit down. We're glad you're here. What we'll changed your mind? Is that tequila? Oh, yeah, sure is. Yeah, and I'm Stan, handing it to you. Thanks, partner. I never figured you girls for drinkers. Looks like you figured wrong about a lot of things. It's boring looking at each other in the walls of a tent after a while. Yeah, and that herb tea and trail mix can get mighty boring. That's right. It's, uh, it's hard to get crazy in that stuff, ain't it? Still get crazy, old timer. The only chance I get. your bedtime, old man. Yeah, I agree. We're both very tired. You're dead wrong. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Universe. Show me what you got. You gotta be kidding me. Are you afraid of getting beaten in front of the ladies, huh? I guess all them muscles just for show, huh? Make it worth my while. Oh, I will. Come on! Come on! Come on, back! Come on, baby! Come on, Come on! Come on! Thank <laughs> you. 
Vader home. Pop. Ray? What the? What's going on here? Where'd they go? Who? That... Damn hippie girls. They're gone? Well, I guess I missed it. You didn't miss nothing. What the hell happened to them? It's pretty damn obvious. They drank us under the table. No way. Brad! Oh. What does it matter? It don't. I say we forget the whole damn thing. Sorry about that punch, kid. Yeah, it's funny, I hardly even feel it now. Barry? Barry? I know I didn't drink that much. I mean, not enough to black out. Doesn't take much up here. Altitude and booze don't mix. Throw in a couple of girls, you got a real potential for interaction. Oh, come on, man. I don't want a laboratory explanation here. I, mean, I was there, and I didn't like what happened. Mm. And so they paid us a visit, and we got a little crazy. I can accept that. But how'd they disappear? Hell, you two were in bed with them, weren't you? Seems like it. It's all a little fuzzy this morning. Fuzzy? You hit me in the jaw, for God's sakes. I hate this kind of thing. Let's go ask him. Brad, let's just leave him alone, OK? Last night is history. The booze is history. We came here to snag Ray a buck, and today's the day. Great.
Ray, head in there. By myself? We'll be close. Test the radio. Okay? You know, Jim, I don't feel good about this. I think we should just pack up and go home. Give it a chance, Ray. Besides, if we don't see any game today, there'll be no point in staying. That's a promise. Yeah, that's a promise. It happened again, didn't it? What do you mean? But just like the horses. I mean, them girls walked away from us like they was invisible. And I can tell you, I was tucked down real good with that little Colleen with no thinking about sleeping, and whoosh, gone. Unless you seen him. No. No, I didn't see him. Terry? Jim. Jim. His blood, all right. Hasn't been here long. Comes from that way. It goes that way. So why are we going that way? Brad? Brad, can you hear me? Answer me. You must be out of range. Jim, I look like this. Okay, shh. We're getting closer. Heads up now, Ray. Deer get cranky when they're wounded. This ain't deer. It's much bigger. Could have done this, Stan. Cougar, maybe. A man for sure. Let's get out of here. Wait. the dinner bell.
It's me, empty handed. My God. I guess you guys had some luck after all. Some luck, he said. Look at this animal. Yeah, he's a, he's a beauty. He's a beauty. He's a killer. He's a monster. He's King Bruin, and we got him. Who got him? We all three did. He charged us. I only heard one shot. Three shots. All at the same time. No way. Check it out. On the neck. <laughs> Open you up like a sack of manure. <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs> Where'd you get him, Jim? Down the hill. Found some blood. Yeah, so I see. What are you eating, Jim? Liver! Liver. <laughs> you guys are too much. Give me a hand, I'll dress him out for you. Don't you touch it! What the hell are you doing? Well, I'm gonna dress him out. I can't believe you guys carried him up your guts and all. It's our kill! Well, it, it doesn't matter whose kill it is, Jim. You can't leave it like this with all this blood all over. Don't you touch it! I don't believe this. What do you want to do? Call in every scavenger for a hundred miles around? Leave it alone! No! Ah! Ah! This ain't deer. It's much bigger. God, you're in heaven. Jim, I don't like this. Blood rings the dinner bell. It's a monster. It's King Bruin and we got him. I only heard one shot. <laughs> Open you up like a sack of my own.
Brad. Brad. What? What do you want? It's gone. What's gone? The bear we killed. I didn't take it. Scavengers. No, no, it's not like that. It's, it's just gone. It's, it, it's, it's gone like the girls are gone. There's, there's just no blood on our clothes. There's, it's like it never happened. We're in trouble, Brad. It may be that we're going insane. It was right there. Right, right, that's, that's why I remember it. And then Stan got a hold of it, and he made the claws move, and then you jumped back, and then Jim leaped on you. It was like some 50s caveman B movie. What'd you say? Like some kind of movie? Is that what this is to you, some sort of play acting? No, Brad. Well, that's what I thought at first, too. Bunch of city kids put something to my food, make me crazy, and laugh at what happens, but, uh... That ain't it. You gotta believe that. Then what the hell happened? There was a black bear right there. And it was dead. For God's sake, Brad, forget about the bear. Look at us. Look what we did. We went right round the bed crazy. We nearly killed you. I would have killed you. I wanted to kill you, Brad. Considering everything that happened, I'd say it's a good thing we didn't go visit those girls. I did. What? Oh, and how was your afternoon? Or should I say afternooner? They weren't there. Their tent was still there, but there was no sign of them. Why did you do that, Brad? I wanted to see her again. I thought maybe since she left me a note, maybe... Wait, she left you a note? You never said she left no note. Well, it wasn't a note. It was just scrawled in the dirt. What did it say? You know... It... Exactly what did it say, Brad? You must leave now. All right, that's it. That's all for me. I'm wrapped. I'm out of here. Hey, Ray. No, no, no. You know, the girl is absolutely right. I wanted to bail yesterday, but you said no. I should have the experience of the hunt. Well, I've had it, all right? I've had it. You know what, Brad? I'm going to give you a different line reading on that. It's must leave now. He's right. Let's get the hell out of here.
There's nothing wrong with that Jeep. It should have turned over. There was gas in the tank, juice in the battery. Maybe we are going crazy. Well, let's get warm and crazy. Yeah, build a fire. What was that? You know, they say this place is a haunted. I don't know about the rest of you gentlemen, but I've I've sat still for about as much mystery as I'm going to. I think you're right. You. Hard to tell. Not hard for me. You learn. Come on. Stinking here. Like something died. Oh, my God. that money my saddle horse Jim you better get in here and take a look at this you're right look at the way this incision follows the contour of the bone. This is more like an autopsy. What else? He's a good sized buck. And the bear. Is that the bear we shot? What the hell is this? Some doped up man, some type running around out there carving up animals and maybe people too. I say we find the son of a bitch, we take him down. No, there's only one plan at this point. Let's just call in the Marines. Yeah, if it'd be the Marines that would come, that'd be great, but it won't be the Marines. It'll be TV news and court appointed attorneys, followed by shrinks, followed by docudrama come on, writers. Yeah, and three yeah. years from now, they give this animal a bottle of pills and they set him free. You know this could happen. He's got a point. He's got a point, but we have no choice. Two to two deadlock. It's not a deadlock. Brad! There are five of us here. And if number five doesn't soon get to one of those shrinks you hate so much, she may not make it. This is not a debate! I'm going for help. She needs you here. You're the only one with any medical training. 
I'll go. Yeah, me too. No, no offense, Stan, but you just slow me down. I run the mile in six, I walk it in 14. I... Why would he be shooting? I don't know, but one of us should go after him. Dang, two of us should go after him. Ghosts. What do you mean? Brad wasn't long in personality, but I figure he had good instincts as a hunter. So how did he get himself bushwhacked? Well, the wind's dying down. I'll get some stones for the grave. I didn't say anything. Oh. I'll say something.
This man was a loyal friend and a good companion. I knew him for many years, and he was never dishonest with me. He demanded a lot of people, but also of himself. I'm going to miss the challenge of being his friend. Jim, I've got the grave ready. Jim, get up. Where the hell is Brad? It happened again. Where have you been? I was getting the stones. Sat down and closed my eyes for a few minutes. For four hours? No way. His name is Ray, right? That's right, I'm Ray. My name is Ray. Brad died. That's right, honey. Oh, I was sad. So sad. Kathleen. What happened to your friend, Kathleen? Did someone attack you? A man? It was a man. But not really. I, I he, he made us feel things. We were afraid. Then we were happy. And then all we wanted was you guys to be with men, any men. And we were ashamed. Then we had no control. He owned us. 
What did he look like? Blonde. Black and white shirt. Is that the man? That's insane! That's my Did uncle! Did he kill Terry? Terry killed herself! <laughs> You've seen him too, Dave. He's not dead after all. Paul is dead. I saw him die. We scattered his ashes. This isn't Paul. What the hell? No, Who is he? No, no. What is it? No person could have done this. All along, he's been manipulating our moods. Maybe even our sense of reality. You're playing with us? Worse. Experimenting with us. Experimenting? I don't know why I didn't see this before. Hell, I do the same thing every day in the lab. I put animals in confinement, and I study their behavior. He gives a stimulus, like the girls, like Brad's body. We fight over the girls, we spill our guts with grief, and he sits back and watches, making notes. And then when it's over, he cleans the cage. Cleans the cage? He makes it look as if nothing happened. Tries to make us forget so we're fresh for the next experiment. Hell, there was even a control group. One of us was always on the outside, right? Brad didn't slice up the bear. You weren't at the funeral. I never saw the girls until now. You're right. Yeah. We're just rats in a cage. Get the guns. These rats are getting out of here. Let's go. What's wrong? We can't get out this way. Let's go back. What is it? Some kind of energy field. Follow me. I can't see a top to it. Maybe we can climb out. Here, stay here. I'll check it. I don't see anything. What is it? to the cage. We're not even going to try to bust through that barrier? What chance have we got? This isn't the CIA doing this or the Russians, or Charlie Manson. I don't know anything on Earth that has this kind of power and sophistication. What do you mean, anything on Earth? Just what I said, Ray. I went out of this prison, and the only way is to go for the man with the keys. All right, fine. You want to go hunt this thing down and kill it, we will. But can we at least stay together? We can't do that. Every time we're together, we run the risk of it influencing our judgment. We might end up shooting each other. And laughing while we do it. Remember, honey, you stay in this room. Let's go.
Damn it. I just don't understand how a being so obviously advanced can be so cruel, care so little about life. Big fish eat the little fish. I know it's the way of the world, but is it the way of all worlds? I don't understand this, either. What's a truck doing here? Everything else in this room is a life form. Well, maybe this thing don't know the difference. It would have to. Have to. Besides, why just this? Why didn't it take the guns or the, the radios? I don't know. Maybe just likes the color. Color? Paul liked the color. Jim, let's get this straight. This thing might be able to make itself look like your friend, but it can't become your friend. Remember that. I know. I know.
You were thinking about your uncle, right? This is the way you remember him. Do it again. Think about him another way. What do you mean? Think about a moment. Go on, talk to him. Go on, you're an actor, for God's sake. Play the part. Okay, soldier boy. Here I am. Come and get me. Well, come on. Gee, gee, Uncle Paul, I love coming to this place. It's like paradise over here. What the hell? What's happening, Jim? Paul, I gotta admire a man who gets drunk on his own wedding day. Somebody else, talk to him. Hey, Lieutenant, let me buy you another drink. It reads our memories, and that's what it becomes. Keep it going. Keep it going. You and your wife are just great, Uncle Paul. Good to see you again, Mr. Camp. Hey, Paul! What do you think of the war now you're back? <laughs> Uncle Paul! You take out the reef? Have to happen. I tried to save, you, but it was no use. You took ten thousand volts, buddy. Ten thousand volts. Ten thousand volts. The chance it was coming right at me. Why didn't it kill me? Because you confused the hell out of it. What did I do? You turned to face it. You were going to sacrifice your life for ours, weren't you? Lab animals don't do that. People do. No, honey. 
honey, I'm okay. Just be a little late, that's all. No, I, uh, I slept pretty well last night. Well, who knows, maybe in another couple of weeks, I'll be able to dream about something else. What? No. No, I'm very tired tonight. I'll definitely be home in a half hour.